Okay, um, yes, so today we're shooting again with uh, Jessica. Um, yes, and it was we planned to shoot quite late in the afternoon. She came here at 5 o'clock. Um, because the forecast said the weather would be nice, and this is a very seldom thing in Belgium, so we thought let's use it. And uh, for me, the most beautiful light, especially black and white film, ish is like late afternoon so in the summer between five seven eight o'clock even later when it when it gets to 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 high summer um so we asked jessica to come here and then we just went in the neighborhood and uh, tried to find some nice locations it was a bit like an industrial type of um, setting um, and we tried to find places where like little side streets where you had no people disturbing. That's something that I find very important when I shoot. I don't like, um, I don't know, people annoying me. And especially in Brussels, very often when you show up with a camera and a model, you have idiots coming very quickly and whistling or making comments and things like that. And for me, that's a complete turn off in shooting. So we, little side streets, uh, weekend, industrial area, business area, so really nobody. And then we went there and just looked for some nice light, which wasn't difficult on a beautiful day uh, and uh, uh, six o'clock, seven o'clock in the evening type of time. And then what I always love for these kind of light is, is simple black and white film. And that's where 35 millimeter really shines for me. I don't shoot a lot of 35 anymore. Um, I've been spoiled, you can say, by medium format and, and large format, especially medium format because you're very quick, it's very portable, you can change angles quickly. Um, I love the cameras um, and the quality is, is really nice. So it's a bit difficult sometimes for me to find a reason to go back to 35 millimeter. But in this sun coming down, summer kind of atmosphere. I think this extra grain and this extra, um, a bit more rough edge to the um, images looks really nice. So I dug out a camera that I didn't use for a long time. It's my Nikon F4 together with the 85 1.4. Um, I, I got this, cam this camera very, very early in, in the process. Um, it's like some semi-automatic, so you have like an autofocus um, and automatic film advance, but uh, it's it's not really it's not really auto auto. I usually usually use it on manual all the time, so I set my aperture and I just adapt the, the shutter speed accordingly. But if you want to hunt quickly for maybe fleeting expressions, this is quick enough to really get a very quick shot when you just see a nice expression that you with another camera especially in medium format where you set up you look carefully and then you compose your shot you miss very often and often you see something beautiful and then it's difficult to recreate it while with this camera and autofocus you're like zip zip tick, and you took the picture and uh, i don't do that very often but sometimes i enjoy doing that it also always depends on the kind of model, the kind of shoot, uh, what we're doing. So yeah, today I use this camera exclusively with the 85 millimeter, which is also more tele focus lens than I normally use. I'm normally the 35 millimeter or 50 millimeter type of person. But uh, today for Jessica, because she has a very pretty face and she has very pretty expressions as well. Um, so I was really focusing on portraits. And then this lens camera combination was really a good uh, solution, I think. Just a little side story. Um, this lens is uh, one of my, it was one of the first lenses I bought. I bought it even when I started shooting digitally. I was shooting first on a Nikon 70. And then I switched to a DH D2H, uh, which was like the bigger professional grade camera. Um, and I was shooting landscape. But then I was, you know, like you do, you read, uh, especially back then, lots of gear reviews, the best lenses, what is this, what is that. And this lens was like, everybody was like, this is like for Nikon, one of the best lenses. So 
I didn't have any use for that because it was really just for, for, for landscape or something. It was not really useful, at least for me. But I wanted to have it somehow. It was just like the gas gear acquisition syndrome. I wanted this lens. So I bought it, but at the same time, I was telling myself, okay, if I buy this lens, I would have to start shooting portraits. So I was basically putting myself under pressure that, okay, you spent the money, but then do something with it. So this lens is mainly responsible that I started shooting portraits, starting shooting with models and so forth. Just a little side story right there. But uh, so yeah, this lens is probably now 11, 12 years old because I bought it new back then. Um, otherwise, yeah, see you next time. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm.